Hello, my Unity family. So wonderful to be with you. It always is. As a matter of fact, these video connections have become a little highlight of my week. They're short, they're brief, and I know that and I hope that it will uplift you. I just want to share a couple of things with you. Our small groups, which are called Sacred Encounters, um, have started. As a matter of fact, yesterday I was able to sit in one of those groups and I was so glad that I did. I even, you know, need that connection and that nurturing myself. And to be able to see um, the participants there sharing from their heart where they've been, what has been happening, to be able to have prayer with them and read a daily word with them, a word of encouragement was wonderful. And the time flew. The 30 minutes was done before you knew it. And the most important part about that whole experience was the part where we did the sharing. This is not a class. This is an opportunity for you to connect, to just share from your heart to the heart. So if you haven't yet signed up and would like to be a part of that, there is still time. Go ahead and, you know, register yourself below and I make sure that you get assigned a host. The host will call you and walk you through what it is that you will need to be um, able to you know connect and it's really quite easy all you need is a telephone and a computer or a laptop a tablet something like that and you'll be able to connect so i'm hoping that you will consider joining if you haven't already done so the other thing i want to share is that we will continue with our series on the beatitudes on sunday and i want to share some really good news with you some of you have been sharing these videos on your home page and and people are really coming back and giving me some positive remarks. They're very grateful. But the most important thing is that I have gotten about four people who are not from our church and live in our county email me to tell me that they want to come to our church, that they've been looking at our website, that they've been hearing our videos, and that they can see that this is a loving and caring community. And I have connected with each and every one of them. So in many ways, we this um, the blessing behind all of this has been that we have created an outreach program that is reaching a lot of people because many churches are closed now and people are just you know surfing. Where can I go to hear something that is uplifting and will touch my soul? And we know that the Unity Message does that. So thank you for sharing. Invite your friends to join in um, and be a part of that outreach program that we each can do each one of you can play a role in sending out this message so i want to share something else with you today about honoring our journey our very own very special tailor-made journey because we're not all the same we are all the fingerprints of god and each one of us very unique, with unique gifts, with unique experiences, with unique backgrounds. And so to be able to take all of that as we journey towards uh, awakening and, and deep enlightenment um, is, is a sacred thing. It's, you know, we're being called to honor our journey. And so when I was thinking about that, I was saying, you know, lots of times what happens is that we want to compare. We're going to compare ourselves to others. And so when when something surfaces and we feel like we just didn't handle that correctly, we begin to say, well, I'm not as spiritual as you are, or I, you know, I need a long way to go um, wherever you are, wherever we are, wherever I am is where I'm supposed to be. And it's perfect. I am honoring the journey right where I am. See, everything has it's so uncertain. You know, the other day I was reading in a Facebook post that even the days of the week have blended together. And, and that is so true. Some mornings I get up and I, I can't even remember what day of the week it is and what is it I'm supposed to do. One of the funny, funny posts said that we're going to rename the days of the week. It's going to be that day, this day, someday, whatever day, or something like that. And that is so true. Nothing is as it has been. We're learning to be with each other in new ways, and we're learning to be with ourselves in new ways. So there are times when I wake up in the morning and I have this fire burning inside of me that gives me all kinds of energy, and I can, I can accomplish so much, and I feel so great. 
And, and that's because that's my nature. I like to get things done. And then there are times when I, that big ball of fire that I had just a little while ago has now become a little spark. <laughs> and a little spark is, is calling me to slow down, to slow down. Don't have to conquer the world. Slow down, loose. That little spark whispers in my ear all the time. You got this, girl. You got it. Just slow down. And when I do that, when I realize that it's really asking me for more self-care, more being able to enjoy what is around me, then I realize that this change is happening. It's in the slowing down and the going within. And it's like this vertical energy that's flowing into us and, and it's shifting and changing us and it's working with us. So that when we have done that internal work, it will reflect outwardly. So there's an internal horizontal and then there's the external I mean, internal vertical and then the external horizontal. I <laughs> get my directions a little bit confused. But the point is that we're changing. Change is inevitable. It will happen to each and every one of us. And how we manage that change will matter in the quality of our lives. And any change that really, really matters takes time. And so we have to develop patience. I have to develop patience. And when I develop patience, understanding that change will take time, then I give my soul the opportunity to shift, to move to a higher consciousness. And in that shifting, that change, the entire universe is supporting me. And I can be the best Christ reflection that I can be. No need to compare myself with anyone. Just pay attention to the signposts in my journey. When do I move? When do I stop? What do I release? What do I embrace? This is what this spiritual journey is all about. Change. The change. So that we can be that which we have come here to be. So I hope that this brief reflection will also um, touch your life as, it, as it's touching mine to honor my sacred journey and know that it is working for my highest and my best good is just taking me to my highest and my best good. So I love you and bless you. I hope you have a delightful rest of the week. I look forward to seeing you on Friday and then connecting with you again on Sunday. We are here for you. We are loving you. We are missing you, but we are trusting that we, we return. We return. We will be changed for the best and highest reflection of the Christ that we can be. So have a beautiful day. I will talk to you soon.